nigga, we made it. Hey YouTube, Urban Rednex here, and today we have a little kind of a collection slash showing of my Rod and Reel Arsenal as of the pre-spawn season. Well, kind of pre-spawn season up here. We're from Massachusetts, so our lakes are still frozen. So I know it sucks, but I want to call it pre-spawn. So right here we have. First off, the Shakespeare, no, not Shakespeare, the Bass Pro Shop Stampede. It's a two piece, six foot six rod with the Bass Pro Shop's Mega Cast. I, I love that reel. I paid 18 bucks for it, and it's the best 18 bucks I ever spent on a reel. I highly suggest that. We will have more fishing tutorials with that coming up. The rod itself is a Stampede. It's uh, 20 bucks at Bass Pro Shop, so. $38 combo. I'm not all about spending big money on rod and wheel combos. I try and keep them under 100 bucks for the combo because I just try and save money. I just don't see the, the reason to go out and spend 500 bucks on a rod and wheel combo. It's just something I'm going to throw around in the boat and just use to catch fish. So I'm not going to spend big money. But I use that rod and wheel combo for any live bait I'm throwing. So, you know, like shiners, minnows, for bass. Just popping them out there. No crankbaits or anything on that. It's just I don't use it on that. I once in a while will throw like a soft plastic worm on something. Something a little like that. But yeah, I love that rod and wheel. Next up, the Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2. This you have seen in a past video. And if you want to learn more about it, go check out that videos on our channel. This is the seven foot version, one piece heavy rod that is just the wheel that comes with it you know great combo paid uh, I think 50 bucks total at Dick's Sporting Goods I got all my stuff from either Dick's Sporting Goods or Bass Pro Shops Let's see if I can get the whole thing in there yeah but yeah that's just uh, stuff I use for like throwing heavy jigs and stuff in like, the cover and everything because it's just it's a, it's a little too much backbone for crankbaits and stuff, especially soft plastic, so that's what I use it for. I got it for a Christmas gift, so I didn't pick it out, but I'm very happy with it. I do suggest it. They do have different sizes. If it was up to me, I'd rather get the 5 foot 6 version. My brother has that, and I seem to like it, so I might get one of those over the summer. But yeah, nice combo. Next up, we have the Daiwa Samurai. This is the 6 foot 6 version. This is the combo. It's a two-piece light rod. And it's a very nice combo. I got it at Dick's Sporting Goods also. Same as the uh, GX2. And I paid $17.95, so this is a very cheap rod. And they have different sizes available for different applications. Let's see if I can get the whole thing in there. As you can see, all my wheels, either spinning or bait casting, they're all left to treat. That's what I like, and that's what I prefer left to treat. So just to give you a heads up. And... Yeah, so that's the combo. I use that for pan fishing. So yellow ye yellow perch, bluegill, just light stuff like that. No bass fishing on that. Just it's too light for me. I don't want to risk breaking the rod or something. So yeah, I do suggest that reel and you will see me in any pan fishing videos. I will be using that with four pound test. So that's my little light rod. And right here we have the first I mean second I only have two bait casting rods. I'm gonna have to fix that. But this is kind of the one I'm working on now as my little combo. The Bass Pro Shops Tony Special Big Casting Wheel and the Quantum Nitrous Big Casting Rod. I love the wheel. The rod I'm not a big fan of. I mean it does the job, so can't really give it any negative things, but it just doesn't stick out that much to me. But that's the wheel. It's a 6 3 to 1 ratio retrieve. And this is a 6 foot 6 version. Cork handle. Just your basic rod and wheel. Now I throw basically spinner baits and stuff on that. Well, I'm just bank fishing, spinner baits. That's what I'm going to be taking with me. I'm not afraid to beat that thing up, scratch it up in the bushes and stuff. So that's kind of my cheaper big casting setup. I think I paid total was 60 bucks for the combo, so 
wasn't too bad. I do like the wheel though. The rods, okay, it does the job, but the wheel I do like. So I would suggest getting that. I think the wheel was 40 bucks and the rod was 20, so you can kind of tell why the rod is not the best. All depends on the price. And last but not least, the Black Max in the Vengeance rod combo. This is my favorite bait, bait caster and probably will be until I spend the big money. But we do have a separate video review on this on our channel. If you want to go check it out, like the GX2, if you're more interested. This is a six foot nine. Oh God, I almost lost it. But yeah, it's a six foot nine version. They have different sizes. I got the uh, extended, I don't know what you call that, I'm gonna call it the rear arm. They have shorter ones, I like the longer ones, I can tuck it under my shoulder, it's just how I prefer fishing a crankbait. But yeah, as I said, I fish a crankbait on this thing with spinner baits, basically all my hard baits, especially top water. So when you're in, the, you're in the deep summer, you know, 100 degrees out, and I'm gonna throw an all top water on this thing with 35 pound test braid or 45 test. So what I throw with it, haven't had a problem. It's a medium heavy version. And I just love that rod and reel combo. It's one of my favorites. And the combo itself, I got it on sale. I think normal price is 80 bucks at the Exporting Goods. But I paid the uh, 65 bucks with the, uh, after the $20 meal rebate, it came to 45 So Abu Garcia really tries to give you the best, best products you can for your money. So you can't really go wrong with Abu Garcia. That's a, a big brand name date. I broke the tip off of that. The tip off of the top one, I know the one, the, that one right there, the nitrous is tip broken. I bought it like that because I didn't buy it brand new. So I figured I'd buy it cheap and throw a uh, $5 tip on it. But anyways, I broke the tip off and as you can see, it's back on there. Brought it back to Dick's Sporting Goods, told them the tip broke off, the tip broke off the, the uh, first week and they fixed it. Sent it back and got me a new one. So. Their war warranties are good, everything's good, so can't go wrong with Garcia. So yeah, I only have five rod and reels at the time, so hoping to get more over the summer. So once we get those, we'll keep you updated with new reviews and fishing videos. As I said, we live in Massachusetts, so the fish is not on because the ice is still out there. So I know it sucks, but it is what it is. So, over right next, leaving you... Like, comment, subscribe.